The swift U.S. response to the Myanmar government's release of hundreds of political prisoners is the latest in a series of moves meant to ease long-strained relations there. We will identify a candidate to serve as U.S. ambassador to represent the United States government and our broader efforts to strengthen and deepen our ties with both the people and the government. Last month, Clinton went to Myanmar and met with pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. She was released from house arrest in late 2010. Included in those prisoners released on Friday, Myanmar's former prime minister, Ken Yen. Some of those released immediately turned their attention to the very cause that saw them locked up in the first place, causes like fighting for greater rights. If everyone who's involved in this process is honest, has the right attitude and goodwill to work together, then I see a chance of it being successful. President Obama has called the prisoner release a substantial step forward for democratic reform. But during her recent visit, Clinton reiterated that further steps were needed if the U.S. is to consider lifting economic sanctions against Myanmar. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.